Sid, do you recall the flowers I had you bring back to the yard? Vaguely. Is something wrong? I'm afraid so. I was able to get most of the Morgan beards to take root, but they rarely flower. I fear the soil here does not agree with them. However, I believe I have a solution. I can't wait to hear it. I'm going to marry the Morgan beards with Morbles. I know, I know, but hear me out. Morbles are possessed of a highly choleric temperament. The fire which drives them appears to be maintained by an abundance of nutrient-rich ether drawn from their environs. I believe that by grafting a Morble vine to a Morgan beard, the appendage's wealth of vigor-inducing nutrients might well stimulate the flower to bloom. The endeavor, I assure you, is scientifically sound. I simply need a vine to prove the theory. <sighs> and all you need is a single vine from an ordinary morble. That is correct. A single vine. As for the morble, I fear ordinary may not suffice. But as luck would have it, a most extraordinary specimen is rumored to haunt the swamps of Rosaria. Why, a notice concerning this very creature was only recently posted on the hunt board. How timely. Well, I shan't keep you any longer. I know you have much to do, as do I. Now, where did I put my watering can? Those who encountered this mobile in Rosaria claim it was as large as a house. Think of all the ether it must have consumed to attain such a prodigious size. Its vines will be bursting with untold vigor. Come on, fly Ambrosia. of a rest. Oh, Torgal! Now, Torgal! 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 
Definitely anything but ordinary. Now, let's get this vine back to the yard. Sid, I, uh, can't help but notice that your satchel is twitching in a most violent manner. Yeah, it's your problem now. What an amazing... 
bracing specimen. The flesh positively throbs with vitality. If I can successfully graft this to the Morgan beards, uh, when, when I successfully graft this to the Morgan beards, I suspect the results will be immediate. I shall begin at once. Just as I hoped. Witness how the Morganbeards have taken to the blighted soil. How they bloom with heretofore unseen vigor. Why, I dare say such a vine graft would yield similar results when applied to other specimens as well. I'm glad I could be of assistance. You've not only helped us, Sid. You've saved us. Do you recall the extract with which I provided you before? I took a moment to distill some more. But this time, with the petals from the invigorated Morganbeards. And would you believe... Its potency has nearly doubled. You must accept this file as thanks for your assistance. The rest, I shall give to Taya. Allow me to thank you again, Master Sid. I do believe you have quite a knack for this sort of work. Should you ever grow tired of saving the realm, we would happily welcome your assistance here in the backyard on a permanent basis. <laughs> I jest, of course. These flowers are beautiful. Pity we have to boil them all down to make medicine. A trader from across the sea once told me that on the continent they play music for their crops. Would you like that, Hmm, a few more of these and the Deadlands will seem less dead. <laughs> 